Hello folks of YouTube. I just finished uh, a ride here on the North Bethlehem trails in Albany, New York and figured it'd be an opportunity to talk a bit about my stump jumper. It's a 2022 alloy. This is the, the base model and it's pretty popular because right now you can get it for around $2,800 which is significantly cheaper than the next upgrade up which is the, the comp alloy which with that you get a fox rear shock fox rear uh, front fork you get uh, a little bit better brakes i believe it's the uh, uh i can't remember shimano somebody put it in the comments but significantly better than the tectros at least uh per popular opinion i think there's uh possibly an upgraded dropper post and um you get the NX drivetrain. So you get NX, uh, um, the rear drive, the the cranks. You get a, I'm not sure if it comes with the dub bottom bracket or if it's a, if it's still a power spline. But regardless, you get NX versus SX, which is a little bit better. But with that said, um, reason why I went with the, the, uh, base alloy was one i'm getting into mountain biking after a 10 year break so i'm upgrading from a uh a 12 year or yeah 12 year old uh hardtail with like gary fisher so pretty much any modern mountain bike is going to be a world of difference from what i was riding um but with that said i also wasn't able to find anything under the six thousand dollar mark so the like the the comp evos or the carbon frame bikes um in my size which i think a s3 there was nothing locally and even on the website uh i don't know if it's still there but even the the comp alloy is not available in an s3 but um i've had this out a few times now riding on different trails as so i'm still kind of getting my feet underneath me getting back into it um Right now, I'm pretty happy, but I have done a few upgrades. I was gonna kind of highlight those for you here so you can uh, see if it's something you'd wanna do. Um, one of the notable things is I replaced my rear shock with a, it, this is a, a Fox Float DPS Elite. This was originally off a, a Santa Cruz Tallboy, I believe. Um, I ended up picking this up off on uh, Pink Bike for fairly cheap. Um, it's it's only a year old, but I do need to service the air sleeve seals, which I bought the kit and I'm intending on doing it this weekend. May make a video, may not, haven't decided yet, but um, it seems like it's a fairly simple job. Uh, the reason why I wanted to change the rear shock out was I felt like I couldn't get the, uh, the factory one, um, no matter how much air I put in it, it was still bottoming out, um, you know, using the O-ring. Uh, when I'd come back off a trail, it was pushed all the way down. So, um, and I, I had well over 200 pounds of air in it. Um, I weigh, kitted up around 170 pounds. Um, so 210, 215, 220, it shouldn't be bottoming out. Um, I'm not going off of any jumps or anything. So just really just trail riding. Uh, so I figured upgrade, uh, this one's pretty cool, it's got Three different settings i can uh i can set rebound i can set the lockout it's got a uh, normal you know which is open it's got a uh like a halfway setting and then a locked out setting which it doesn't totally lock it out but it's significantly stiffer and the black you can set um is for when it's in the open position there's a uh a plush a firm and a, like a pedal mode that's extra firm oops Hold on a second. Um, one of the other things I did. Now I kept the uh, I kept the SX shifter, but I upgraded to a GX derailleur. Now I did this as a uh, preemptive upgrade. I didn't take the bike out with the SX derailleur on there. I just went ahead and upgraded it. And the reason why I did that was. Just looking at that sex, um, there's a lot of plastic. You know, like the knuckles are plastic. And it just didn't look 
very sturdy and reading reviews uh you know i i want something i could grab my bike i only get to ride you know once or twice every two weeks so i want something i could grab my bike out of the bike room hit a trail have fun i don't, I don't want to monkey around i don't want to spend more time walking than riding so i just went ahead and upgraded that so what other possible upgrades am i going to want to do in the future um one of the things i might want to do uh, i don't know if this counts uh put some bond trigger uh grips on but that's because I bought them for my previous bike and I kind of liked them more than the factory ones. Nothing wrong with the factory ones. I just like how these grip better. But uh, so future upgrades, probably at some point I'm going to upgrade to a GX crank and uh, a dub bottom back bracket. Um, right now I don't have any complaints with the RockShox fork. Um, I may play around with putting a little bit more air on there. I feel like I'm something... I feel like maybe I don't have it dialed in exactly uh, where I need it. And I might want to play with the rebound a little bit too because I did monkey around with it and I I think I might have, uh, I got I to gotta reset it back a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's that. And um, I'll be posting more content, um, more mountain bike stuff, but probably going to, uh, anytime I do upgrades on this bike, I'll, I'll end up uh, giving some sort of review. So maybe some of the other folks with a, a base alloy uh, may get some ideas. All right, peace out, later.